Go ahead. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to be, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the bag off. You'll need your number two Phillips head. There's four bolts there. The back two are held on by a little plate. Set that plate there, and the bag comes off. For the install, next thing we're going to do, we're going to use a 12 millimeter socket. Remove the grab handle. Probably want to do this when the bike's been cool a little bit. You don't want to get burned on the exhaust system. I'm going to remove the handle. Should be installing that back on. The rack's going to sit on here attached to the, those four mounting points and the two grab handle points. There's some spacers that go on top of here, and to make it easy, what you can do is use a little bit of electrical tape to hold the spacers on and then we'll also if you ever need to remove it on the trail you won't lose your spacer so what we're going to do is flip this over there's two different sized bolts the smaller ones go toward the seat in front the larger ones go toward the back so we're going to put those on we're going to use just a little piece of electrical tape And what that does is when we push that spacer on there, it won't affect the threads, but it keeps the spacer on there so when we flip it over, it'll hold it on there. We'll do that for the back hole. And now they'll be held on in the right place. We're going to flip it over. We'll start these in the right place. Okay, now we're going to use the 4 millimeter Allen wrench to tighten up the front two, just to steady it. Okay. And again for the back two, we're going to have to put this plate back on from the bottom. And one thing you might want to do is use some thread locker on those uh, before you put them in. Of course, this will help it stay on there if, it, if you're going over a rough surface. We're not going to make these too tight. We're just going to get it to where the rack's not going to move around enough, but we've got a little bit of movement. Okay. So you're going to use the button head bolts. And you're going to put them through the grab handle and attach them there again you don't you have a little bit of uh, leeway here because this is, hasn't been tightened up okay okay once you get it all tightened up you want to make those nice and snug got the grab handle installed completely you're going to tighten these up completely and your rack is ready to go.